Morning guys, I'm Dave Canterbury with Self Reliance Outfitters and the Pathfinder School. What I want to show you this morning is just a quick trick to make a hunting chair that you can use in the woods to sit in an area and avoid being on the ground. If you're a ground hunter like I am and you just want to sit and observe an area like this oak hammock that we have in front of us here and you're hunting squirrels or something like that or even an ambush point for a deer but you don't want to climb into a tree stand carry a blind in and things like that with you you just like sitting on the ground and hunting but you don't want to directly sit on the ground or carry a stool this is a really quick and easy trick that you can use stay with me okay so I found a small white oak tree here that I'm going to sit against that faces this ravine that's full of white oaks so this doesn't have to take a long period of time so if you're trying to get in get settled get set for like squirrels things like that early in the morning it's a really easy thing to do you might want to take off some of these lower branches with your axe just to get them out of your way or chop them out of the way with your knife whatever the case may be now what we're going to use to make this chair really quick is we're going to use our hammock and instead of making a frame for a hammock we're just going to drop a loop over this tree and set it in a saddle fashion it's really really simple to do now you're going to probably, if your hammock has carabiner attachments on it because you're using the Marline spike type attachment points, then you don't need to carry an extra carabiner. If it doesn't have that, then you may want to carry a carabiner with you so you can make that Marline spike hitch attachment. I'll walk you through that really quick. All right, so we're just going to take one of our two hammock straps and we're going to go up a pretty good way to the tree about as high as our arms will reach and just pull that thing tight and straight down just like this to make that marline spike hitch you grab turn your hand over like this and grab it and go up the rope and pull the loop through so you go up the rope and pull it through like this and that will give you that marline spike hitch that you're going to put your carabiner into so take your carabiner and it's easily adjustable this way too climb the rope pull it through snap your carabiner into it and pull it down tight just like that and that's not going to go anywhere now when you want to take that thing out it'll come undone pretty easy all you got to do is slip it over the top to your gate and it'll pull right out all right the beater in there and edge it down just like that. Now all you're going to do is take your hammock and you're going to put whatever your attachment points are and this one happens to be it has paracord on it. It's a JB hammock. It has paracord and the buckles but the paracord is what I'm going to use for my attachment and I'm just going to pull it up in half just like this grab both of those pieces of paracord like this snap them into the gate just like that now I can adjust the height of the seat where I want it and once you've got this thing on the tree it's as simple as spreading that thing out getting a good seat in there right there's my pouch put the hammock right in the middle and now I'm ready to hunt I'm off the ground I'm relaxed I can swing back and forth pretty easy if I need to get a different shot without making a bunch of noise because I'm not shuffling around on the ground which is highly advantageous when you're hunting to not have to do that from ground hunting and it's just a very relaxing seat to use that'll keep you off the wet, cold ground. And if you're worried about convection problems underneath this thing, I'm only five, six inches off the ground. And I can always put a pad or jacket in the bottom of this underneath my butt. But this is a very, very comfortable way to make a quick and dirty hunting chair in the woods with something you might already be carrying with you. 